watching KSL News at 6. A year ago, UDOT plow crews were busy clearing high mountain passes of snow in preparation for Memorial Day. Well, this year, there is still too much snow out there on the roads. Yeah, new specialist Jed Bull shows us right now there's not even an estimated date for when those seasonal passes will open. We're at the top of Big Cottonwood Canyon where the road to Guardsman Pass is gated for the winter season. A year ago, we were able to drive up this road and meet the plows where they were working. This year, the gate is buried in snow that's more than seven feet deep. Right now, because of the record snowfall, there's still 25 feet of snow in, in certain areas. On the last switchback before the pass, there's still as much as 30 feet of snow on the road. That's where we caught up with the crews that were plowing to get the pass open a year ago. It's the same story on Mirror Lake Highway, Monte Cristo Pass, East Canyon, and Wolf Creek Pass. For all of our seasonal routes right now, we actually don't have any of them open. And, and typically, we'll try to uh, open them around the Memorial Day um, weekend holiday because people like to get up there and, and uh, enjoy themselves, camp, or just drive through. Besides, those plow drivers are busy with more important jobs. The same crews that are, that are responsible for clearing those, uh, those uh, seasonal passes are the ones that are doing the flood mitigation right now. And so we're, we're really prioritizing the work. And Those seasonal roads are important and UDOT will eventually get them cleared, but flood mitigation is a priority right now. It's just another excuse to play in the snow when it's May. Gary Dastrup was gearing up to take the trail over the ridge to Mill Creek Canyon. Usually this time of year you can ride your bike over there. Um, and I knew there was no bike riding, so we've got the snowshoes. Most years, by mid-May, Dastrup says he would be mountain biking, not snowshoeing. For me, I'm not in a hurry for it to go. I was actually bummed that it stopped snowing. UDOT was not. For them, plowing a corridor through snowdrifts 20 feet deep is not practical in terms of time or money. Because of the record snowfall and all of the plowing that we've been doing and now all of the, uh, the flood mitigation, you know, our maintenance budget is uh, we really have to prioritize the work and, and do those things that are, that are critical to, uh, to safety. And they spent $41 million on plowing this year instead of the $26 million that was allotted. It was a very challenging, um, demanding year for, for our crews, and, and we're still, we still haven't hit the end of it yet. Even if they could get the road plowed and the gate open, summer activities like hiking, fishing, and camping are still a long way off. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowles.